Hi everyone, welcome back to Frenchie's Bakery. Today we are going to be making a reindeer cake and I am just in the best mood ever because we are a week away exactly from Christmas Eve. I'm probably not gonna be posting this probably for the next couple of days so it's gonna be even closer to Christmas Eve and I am just so excited. This year I am going like hardcore with Christmas, you guys. Like I decorated my house so insane, I just went hardcore and as you can see I'm very festive and I really wanted to get into the reindeer spirit oh my god there's a spider okay hmm. he's just joining us just coming on down now he's going back up oh god I, I, I am I don't know why I just I hate spiders and snakes. I don't know why. I never have liked them. And Mike just left. So this is awesome. I don't like to kill things though. So I'm going to be really brave and I'm going to grab him nicely with a paper towel and put him outside. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. I'm so scared. Okay, I did it. I did it. Okay. Oh my god, it's moving. I'm going to run this outside. Ah! All right. Sorry. That is just something. I don't do well with. I don't know why. I know that they're like harmless, but they're just so creepy. Uh, I don't know. I just do not like them. Anyways, um, I don't even know where I left off. I am dressed up like a reindeer, I think I was saying. I really like to get in the spirit and match my cakes. I'm like dressed up as a Fortnite character as best I could before and Piglet's running around. I'm sorry if she makes noises. Yellow's sleeping like a good boy, but she just wants to play all the time. <laughs> this bell's gonna be really annoying. I hope it doesn't ruin the video. So we're gonna move back to the mixer and we're going to make some peanut butter icing because I don't think I've ever showed you guys how I make mine. It's so simple. I think there's only three, maybe four. I don't remember three. I think three ingredients, maybe four because I add salt. I don't know, um, but we're gonna do that. It's so simple, it tastes so good, and I'm really excited to show you guys. All right guys, so in my mixing bowl, I have one cup of creamy peanut butter and half a cup of unsalted butter, and we are going to mix these together until they are perfectly and totally incorporated together. All right, and then we are going to be scraping the sides of the bowl just to make sure we have all the butter off the bottom. Make sure you have a Christmas-themed spatula. You don't have to have that, but I think it really gets you in the spirit. So go out and buy one. <laughs> They're only like $3, maybe even cheaper, I don't know. Now we're going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'm just gonna put in a few quarts of that. And then we are going to put in two cups of powdered sugar. And we'll mix that on low. And while we're mixing that, pour one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. All right, so now I am going to be icing the cake. So I am going to do it like I normally would, just a blob of icing in between each layer, spread it out evenly, put on a nice little crumb coat, and then we'll put on our final coats, and then we can get to decorating our little reindeer. So let's get this part done. So while our cake is cooling in the freezer, the crumb coat is cooling, I'm going to show you guys these real quick. I made the antlers last night. 
I just shaped together some Rice Krispie treats. I only used two total and I just like squeezed it, made it kind of um, longer and more round and then I added little pieces to the side. It's really simple. You just gotta push it together and take your time and whatever shape you want, you can put more parts coming out or less. It's really whatever you prefer. Um, I'm pretty happy with these and I also slanted them a little bit. See how these are like a little slanted? And then I just put some skewers through them so we can stick them into the cake. And I will be covering these with some brown fondant. All right guys, so I was going to keep the icing this color originally, but the more I looked at it, I think I wanted it a little bit darker. So I added about three drops of brown food coloring to our icing. So now we have a very nice dark brown or darker brown color. And that is going to be the color of my reindeer. You guys can play around with the colors. You can make it darker or lighter, however you prefer it. So this is going to be our last layer of icing. And then we will get to putting on all of our finishing touches. I actually went ahead and made the ears. I should have made them last night because they probably aren't going to have enough time to dry, but I'm going to make it work. I roll out whatever color fondant I need and I have whatever size hearts I need and you just cut them out and we're going to turn it upside down. So this is the top of the ear. Obviously it's a point and then you just squeeze together the bottom of the fondant and it kind of like curls it in to make it look like an actual animal ear. This is what I do all the time for my unicorn cakes. And then you do the next size down, so you have the inside part of the ear. I would pick them up, but right now they're drying and they have paper towels under them to keep them curved. So I'm just going to leave them. But I just wanted to quickly kind of explain that for you guys. I also covered um, the antlers in some tan fondant. I think I made up my mind. I'm going to be spraying them with a gold um, dust kind of that Wilton has and then I'm going to be putting some edible sparkles on top of them which you can get on Amazon you just type in edible sparkles and they pop up whatever color you need and we're gonna be using the same thing for the nose is some red edible sparkles and they're very cheap on Amazon so check that out the next thing I plan on working on is the eyes so I'm going to have my reindeer have green eyes so I mix a little bit of green together and then we'll need some white and black so I'm gonna roll out the base of the eyes which is going to be white I have my cake here to just measure it and make sure that they're not too big. Unfortunately, I don't have any oval cutters, so I'm going to have to do this by hand, which makes it a little bit more difficult just to be like perfect. So now we have the base of our eyes and then we're going to be rolling out our green next and we're just going to place that on top. So we kind of layer these. I've done this with a few eyes on my cakes. I think I've done it with my trolls cake maybe the Minnie Mouse cake, uh, my Mario cake. So a lot of layering of the eyes. It makes it look really nice and not creepy because you know how the eyes can like look really creepy. Okay, so we're gonna make another like oval. And then you're gonna need some black fondant. And then we'll do two little dots for the little glimmer in the eye. All right, so now that we have the eyes on, I wanna put a black border around the top and then a few eyelashes coming off. So I'm gonna take some black and just roll it out, kind of like a worm. All right, so we're just gonna wrap that around and then I'm going to add on some eyelashes. So we're just gonna do like three little ones like that and then we're going to obviously do the same thing to the other eye so let's line this up and then we'll add on the nose so I'll put it like right there I'm going to put in a toothpick just for extra security just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere and then we'll put this right on and add on the edible sparkles
I'm going to spray this on first and then put on some gold edible sparkles just like the red. And for the ears, I'm just going to spray in the middle, put on some gold, and then we'll place them right in front of the horns. All right guys, that is it for this cake. It was pretty simple and actually so much fun to put together. I think sparkles make cakes so much better. So I really, really recommend going on Amazon and getting colors for whatever cakes you guys have to make coming up. But I am very happy with this girl. I'm thinking it's the girl because the eyelashes. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Bye.